Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5 of Life and Times with Indeed. Very much so, yes. Indeed, indeed. So, uh, we had a little short episode prior, uh, interrupted by the arrival of my son coming home from, from school and such. So, uh, we're going to continue the madness in which we were doing, which is extending this place and making it a phenomenal and an amazing place to, to live and work and play. Or something along those lines. We'll figure it out. So, uh, what are we living at here? We're living at, uh, daytime? Are we getting close to night? Yeah, it looks like, looks like night is upon us as the sun goes down and the moon comes up. And all of the nasties come out to play. So what we're going to do here is we're going to expand a workshop off the back. So what we'll do is, since we're going to like sleep and stuff soon, is we'll just kind of get the diagram out here. So we're going to expand off the back here about, I don't know, probably the same dozen by dozen. And then we're going to expand over dozen by dozen and over on this side a dozen by dozen. And we're going to put a farm in there, which gives us another dozen by dozen area to put a farm down there and a farm down on that side. And then that will give us what we need to start off with a decent little little home and a little farming area to go. Mm. Uh, so tonight, tonight is Friday night, everyone. And while we're waiting for someone else to join me in Dreamland so that we can get day. Um, excellent. Uh, I am going to enjoy some Forty Creek whiskey during this recording. Mm. And speaking of enjoying whiskey during the stream, it is time to start my 22 minute timer so that I do not overshoot the video like I have been for the past uh, couple. But the timer has been keeping me honest. I, I I like it. So let's do this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wonderbar. So, that is, in essence, what we're trying to build right here, All right? And then it will come off here this time and be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, wait, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I buggered that up, I guess. Oh, it's because I, I started on that block. That's why. Crap on a stick. Boo. That's annoying. Okay, so we'll get the basic foundation of it laid out. And then from there, we'll work on replacing the floor and getting it situated. So like that water there, I actually want to to cover it over. And then I'm going to build like a little walk walkway, I guess, down to it, if you will. I guess as much of a walkway as you can build one block down. But that's where like my Oculus accumulators will sit to acquire water. So this room will have some water. I did it bloody friggin' well again. I did it again. That's it. See, talking and planning. You'd think I'd be a lot better at multitasking working in IT. But no. No. Apparently, no. Uh, a, a, a little shot of whiskey has apparently put me over the edge. So that can only mean that consuming more will make me a much better player. 
Okay. We'll fix this. I still gotta go up there and rip up the freaking strip. I think I'm gonna put down the proper strip first. That way I won't do this again and look like a turd. Now I gotta get some dirt in there to replace that. There we go. Then we gotta go do the same thing over on the side there. So before we even move over there, first thing we're gonna do here is kind of just walk through and place the dirt down that we need to re to make the floor. And then there, that, that will keep us from falling in here. So these next couple of videos are probably going to be a lot, oops, a lot of the just getting the base situated. Once this area is complete and we have the, the base and the foundation of the building, and I actually surprisingly ran out of dirt. So what do we got here? So that's our two-way door getting in there. Alright. And... Might have to change that chest, yeah. Move that chest out of the way. Somewhere, probably put it over there. Or even move it into another room completely different, but the idea is still the same. Once I have a two wall, too high wall here, then I don't really need to worry about the mob situation as much. Grr. See, I want to do it so that I don't lose the water. That's the purpose of this. Yet I just trapped myself in the water. There we go. Now I do see the piece of coal down there. It's just that it looks like one piece of coal and mining it out will end up disturbing the water below it and I really don't want to do that. So that would be why I haven't mined up that yet. So here's our door here. Okay, and then we just start from here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Perfect. X O. seems to also be apparent. A little server backup going on, so we're going to see a little bit of a spike here. Probably see some of the grass reappear on us when the backup's complete. Oh no, it acted good then. Okay, so... With the foundation of the place laid down, in its essence, okay, and the weeds cleared out, it's 
Okay. I think that should be enough to keep it lit. So now we go on the outer perimeter of the facility. Hello, chicken. Well, I guess he didn't want to stay. And we just place. And we place and we place until we are probably about three blocks high. And once we've accomplished that, actually, yeah, three blocks high. We're pretty much laughing, right? Yeah, so. Okay. Silly kitty. Watch out. I don't need your paws in the way of my mouse. Especially not now. Why I'm hanging on the on the cliff of this wall, preparing it, building it, mapping it out, sculpting this building into my image. Okay, cat, you're gonna get annoying real soon. She's cute and all laying on my hand or laying on my arm while I'm playing the game. Real cute, but you know. Not exactly um, constructive to the entire playing process. So, as you can see, there's definitely going to be a need to acquire a wee bit more of this, uh, this stone. I might have enough to... Whoa. Apparently I missed you. Apparently I missed you as well. Yeah, so I'm probably going to definitely need some more of this stone. Huzzah! There we go. So that's the, the gist of it. And then it will come across here so I might actually make these doors here actually the tall tall three by th three by twos right here and that way they'll just be bigger entrances coming through and then just you know bring the wall along here right and then that will bring it right down across. So then in that case I could have like some thermal expansion going on in here and I could then run ME cable all underground underneath here once I get the floor down it'll be a lot better but get some ME going and we can run that under and then the object would be to um, probably set up the ME uh, controller in here with some storage and stuff and maybe some odds and ends and such even more so even back there and then these could be like machine rooms so thermal expansion in there um, we could do applied energistics hmm, I'm not really sure there's a bunch of different mods in here that I that I have to take a look at and, and try out right so if we just took a quick gander at the mod list right so going to do some applied energistics. Um, definitely going to have to get some forestry going. Forestry is going to be good. We're gonna, definitely going to use some uh, Ender IO for the capacitor banks and the um, the conduits. Uh, what else we got in here? Bees. We'll definitely get some bees going. Forestry will be the nice, wonderful... Uh, Forestries out there to do the uh, trees and and uh, the other stuff. They're really nice, good auto harvesters. Uh, yeah, there'll be a bunch of different little bits that we'll do in here. Some mine factory load it will also use for for some farming and whatnot. Then there's hmm, just trying to see. I 
I want to do a spliff uh, arena here too, so I'm going to definitely need to get some some uh, other things set up for like creating uh, snow. So that'll be good, but that'll be all part of that project in essence. Uh, do, do, do. I like to get a train a train system set up. Um, we might set up a Thomcraft room. I've never really done any Thomcraft, so that definitely wouldn't hurt. Uh, Spice of Life, I have no clue what this is. Food journal, lunch box, a lunch bag. Okay, whatever that is. There's your thermal expansion. Tinker's Construct, yeah. So there's a few things I could definitely look into here that I, should, that I really want to get into. Like, what is this electrical age? Hmm. I'd really like to build a rail system too. I think that'd be kind of fun. So there's a few things. Another one bites the dust. What the hell is that? Native nickel clusters. Oh, it's just another form of uh, what I'm calls it and such. Roma camera, auto packager. Don't even want to know. It's okay. We'll get her all figured out. So there's a bunch of things that we can do. I want to get some good farming going. I want to get good, some good supplies going, and I really want to try and be creative this game. So the next next plot is is what am I going to do for the roof? Because there will be a roof over this. We're going to figure something out. I don't really want to leave it as a flat roof, but I don't want to make just some standard little peak on top of it and turn it into the attic up top there. Oh, whiskey. So the question is, is what should we do? What should we do with that? So what I'm going to have to do at the end of this episode is probably going to harvest some of these trees here. Get the wood and then replant the uh, saplings. Then, got to come back up here because I've mined the crap out of this marble spot up here. And I'm going to have to mine some more too. Where were we up here? And then there's still some explora exploration I need to do down there as well. And... Thanks to a little exploring around I was doing earlier. Yeah, see, I mind this whole section. I'm going to have to keep going with it. And if dynamic maps did not lie to me, there's another ex little tunnel of exploration within this area. And no, it's not this one. Whee! Okay. Um, if dynamic maps was saying it was truthful, then way over here not by that oh wow I haven't eaten crap there it is oops get it up get it up yeah I haven't eaten crap yes here it is We have more fun. A lot more fun. Yes. As you can see, it didn't lie to me. And there is an abundance of stuff down here. Especially this quartz. Oops. This quartz is fantastic. And I do love my quartz. What I really want right now is this iron. Iron is very important to me. It's very near and dear to my heart. But I do love it with passion. Oh. There it is. So I just gotta stem the water here a little. Yeah, see, this isn't going to work. <sighs> yeah, so we're going to have to avoid the sand by the looks of it and go around it. Maybe 
go into it. Ah, up we go, my little friend. Did I get it all? Oh wow, I actually got it all. Huzzah! Haha! -ha! Victory! Wow, that was a lot of water going down there. But you did reveal to me iron. And for that I shall be grateful. And I shall harvest you. Yes. Because one of the things I'm going to do in this pack... Ow! I hate those little bastards. Holy shit. We gotta get the hell out of here. Bastards burn. Oh, wow. That could have been very bad. Whew. Okay. So, I think that near-death experience um, uh, definitely qual qualifies as get your ass in the house and eat something. Um, yeah. Ooh, oh wow, that filled me up real good. Oh yeah, baby. This music is so moody. Oh my. Just jam to it. Okay then. Mm. So, we'll stop it here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to stop this video. Going to go up to the quarry area there mine out more of that stone, finish, uh, get enough so that I can finish off the area here, then we'll come back, or I'll come back after I finish off the, the walls here and the ceiling, we get it all lit up, and then we'll start looking into what we need to do, um, do some thermal expansion, get some basic equipment going. I might, depending if I don't have enough resources, because I want to make the next episode more of a, a build, episode getting things situated and built and put down and get power going and such like that so I'm gonna look at the things I need for like uh, the furnace generator uh, and then get some leadstone energy conduits being built and then get like a pulverizer and a, and a powered furnace being built so that I can actually get some automation going not so much automation but at least something powered and going harvest up the trees so there's a couple of prep work that I'm gonna get done before that episode and then we'll come back and we'll build the machinery and we'll get it set up and after the walls are built maybe we'll get enough wood so that we can actually go ahead and uh, maybe set up one of the farms so we'll look at maybe getting a basic uh, harvester and planter set up we'll do a little underground bit and get a harvester and planter set up and then from there we'll go ahead and get it to start planting you know some wheat seeds and some barley and whatnot and we'll, we'll go from there. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm all full health now. So we're going to stop here, going to gather the resources, and I'll come back in like 20, 30 minutes after I've grabbed everything and we got some building started. So thank you very much for watching and have yourselves a great evening. Cheers with the whiskey, my good sir. I wish I had whiskey to drink in the game. It would be fantastic. So cheers and enjoy your evening. Good night and salutations. <laughs>